This video demonstrates how to replace a PC86 backrest pad or seat pad. Uh, we begin with the chair upright because it's easier to remove the pads uh, in that state. So begin by removing the head pillow from the chair and removing or detaching the Velcro strips. First from the back of the chair, underneath the chair. Then slightly recline the chair, which makes it easier to work with the seat pad. In order to replace the backrest pad, you have to re partially remove the seat pad. We're going to remove it all the way in this case. So pull the bottom of the backrest pad upward, detaching the Velcro strips from the seat pad. They're secured together. and pull the seat pad Velcro strips up from underneath the pad. They're attached to the bottom of the chair on each side of the pad. Once you've detached all three Velcro strips, you can flip the seat pad all the way over. Now, if you were just replacing the backrest pad, you could keep the seat pad in this, in this um, state. Later on, we'll remove it as if we're re replacing the seat pad. The next step is to open the canvas with the zipper to expose. Here is where the, you can see the controls for the heat and the uh, air wave systems. We need to connect, disconnect both of these before we can remove any pad. The first step is to locate the heater connector, which is the white connector. Disconnect the heat connector. Now assuming that we're replacing the backrest pad, we need to disconnect the air hoses from the backrest pad. You need a uh, wire cutters in order to cut the zip tie that secures the two sides of the connector together. You remove the zip tie, two zip ties. push inward on the ends of the connector and then pull the two sides of the connector apart. Once that connector and the heater connector are disconnected, there's another zip tie that needs to be cut before you can remove the backrest pad. At this point you can remove the backrest pad from the chair. Grasp it firmly and rock it gently side to side as you pull upward. To remove the backrest pad from the chair. You can see that it's imperative that you disconnect these cables before attempting to remove the backrest pad, otherwise you will break uh, the connectors and very likely need to replace the entire chair. Now, if you uh, were replacing the seat pad, you would again need to open up the chair like this, but instead of disconnecting the heat and the hose connector from the backrest pad, you instead need to disconnect the air hose that goes to the seat pad, which is in the front of the seat. Use a wire cutter to cut the zip ties that secure the two sides of the connector together. Reaching between the, the coils Press both ends of the connector together and separate the two sides of the connector. Again, there's a third zip tie that secures the hoses to the chair seat coils. Cut and remove that zip tie as well. And you can then slide the seat pad off of the chair. Gently pull the hoses through the opening in the chair canvas on the way. Okay, to reinstall the seat pad then, again you need to slide the footrest into the pocket in the bottom of the pad. 
while at the same time guiding the hoses through the opening in the seat canvas. You need to make sure that the, the seat pad is installed all the way onto the chair frame so that it goes all the way to the bottom of the pad. And then once you have it all the way installed, you can fold it backward. and insert the air hoses through the opening in the canvas. Sometimes helpful to have a second person to hold that flat back while you're connecting the hoses. So you need to reconnect the two sides of the air hose connectors, pushing them firmly together until they snap into place. And then to ensure that they remain in place, you need to secure them with a new zip tie. Actually, two new zip ties. Make sure the zip ties are fastened firmly around the connector. and then snip the excess tails off of the zip tie once they're secure. And then replace the third zip tie to secure the cable bundle to the seat coils. We'll then leave the seat pad so we can replace the backrest pad. Slide the backrest pad over the backrest frame with the cable bundle sticking out on the bottom. Rock it back and forth to get it all the way down on the frame. Then pull back the top of the seat pad to expose the connectors for the backrest. Reconnect the heater connector, the small white connector. And then, just like we did with the seat pad, reconnect the air hoses that go to the backrest by pushing the two sides firmly together until they snap together. And then we need to secure those two connectors together with two new zip ties.
Again, make sure the two sides of the connector are zip tied firmly together to make sure they don't come apart during use. And snip the excess tail off the zip tie. And finally replace the third zip tie to secure the cable bundle to the chair frame. Then close the seat canvas zipper. And we're ready to finish installing the seat pad. Pull the seat pad firmly toward the back of the seat, then tuck the side flaps down between the arm and the seat. After you've tucked them down, you can pull them through from the bottom side, stretch them tight, and attach them to the bottom of the chair using the Velcro. Next, you need to take the bottom flap from the seat pad Slide it underneath the chair frame, wrap it around and pull it forward, and attach it to the other flap using the Velcro. Make sure to pull it tight to hold the seat pad firmly in the correct position. Do the same for the second flap. Again, you're pushing it under the chair frame, wrapping it around the chair frame, and pulling it forward over the top of the chair frame and attaching it to the front flap. Next, use your hand to smooth the top flap up into the backrest, also attaching with Velcro strips. This secures the seat pad to the backrest pad. And you can kind of pull the pad so that the center seam aligns. And finally, secure the flaps underneath the footrest to hold the footrest in place. The last step then is to install the head pillow using the Velcro strips on the back of the head pillow and the back of the chair. Then let's fully incline the chair and secure the back flap of the backrest pad to the bottom of the chair using the Velcro strips. Pull it down tightly so it's nice and smooth. Then let's incline the chair all the way to make sure that we have the seat pad installed properly so that the bottom of the pad is not dragging on the floor. Looks good. If the, chair, if the pad were dragging on the floor, it means that you did not install the seat pad all the way onto the footrest frame and you would need to remove the seat pad and. Uh, reinstall it, making sure the footrest frame goes all the way to the bottom of the seat pad. And that completes the installation.